the Deepwater Horizon blowout turned out to be a three-dimensional catastrophe. These things have major consequences for industries, for people, but very importantly, it's the cultural identity of coastal communities which are tremendously impacted. All of us here in the College of Marine Science, which is quite interdisciplinary, realized uh, that this was going to be something that we were going to get involved with and, and get involved with quickly and important, not only as scientists, but to the state of Florida. I think the role that USF played through a consortium that we call Sea Image has been to take a broad look at the different issues involved in oil spills. A lot of our efforts have been a gulf-wide integrating our colleagues and academic partners to develop these baselines of the chemistry of waters, the conditions and types of sediments, contaminant concentrations, fish, what kind of organisms are there, the benthic environments, all creating maps that represent a point in time, and those are called baselines. Oil can have a lot of different impacts on the animals. We've been trying to study not only individual species like red snapper, etc., but also try to understand the impacts on the total community of fish. It will kill the larval fish, the baby fish, and severely hamper the adults. Sometimes you can see things like a prevalence of skin lesions, but we're also interested in so-called sublethal effects. That is, how does it affect reproduction and growth and other things. We've caught and analyzed something like 15,000 fish from the Gulf. We've yet to find one that didn't have some traces of oil in it. We found that all these contaminants are stored or concentrated in the eggs of these animals. And now the latest data has shown that population dynamics are 50 to 80 percent of the numbers of these animals have decreased over the last five, six years. Within a month and a half, the waters look perfectly clear. The fact that there was oil as micro droplets and as dissolved species down below was just so unorthodox. We know now from studying other past spills that material will stay there clearly for decades and have a consequence. The students, they had a front row seat to this. This has been a tremendous learning opportunity for the students, not only the technical parts of their education, but also if they want to be involved in societally important things, there's no better issue to be thinking about than this one. Being able to be and grow in a group of scientists for the last eight, ten years, that's in a one-life opportunity. The exchange of questions and experiences was amazing. That's what we were able to discover so many things that before we didn't know. Now we go into the next blowout with our eyes wide open. What should we be trying to understand? What would be resources at risk? What are the expectations of a sedimentary oil event? These are all information born out of 10 years of research with Sea Image.